hello and uh, welcome back. This is the uh, fifth or sixth edition of the screenwriting vlogs. And I'm in my car. It's a bit of a hectic day. Running errands, uh, going to the bank, UPS, all the fun adult stuff that I didn't think I would ever be doing. Uh, yeah, so I decided to park real quick and bang out this vlog. So I'm pushing 60 pages in the screenplay now and I don't think there's going to be any any problems coming up um, I have everything outlined I, I know all the scenes coming up um, like I said the other week I know the ending I think it's going to be smooth sailing until I finish and start the rewriting process and it's looking like as long as I stay on track it's looking like I'll have some time to rewrite it before um, before you all get to read it, so that's good. Um, I'll probably, probably, uh, coming up I'll share, you know, I had the, the one video where I showed, uh, I had a screen recorded me writing, I'll probably do another one of me rewriting a scene, so hopefully that will be helpful. Um, rewriting has been a struggle for me for ever. Is, <laughs> I hate rewriting. And it's not that, like, oh, I think, you know, my stuff is gold the first time. It doesn't need to be touched. It's just that I have a, I struggle with uh, finding out which scene needs to be deleted and what uh, pieces of dialogue, you know, don't work. And it's been always been a struggle for me to the point where I put it off and then forget about a script or send off scripts uh, before they're actually ready to be sent off. Uh, but recently I I read, uh, I was searching around trying to um, look for tips. I needed something and I came across this old uh, blog post from John August and uh, in the post he talks about how most writers will start the rewrite process from page one which is usually the best page in the script. Uh, and that's what I always I always did. I started from page one and then you kind of get into this rhythm where you're you kind of forget why you were rewriting in the first place and you're focusing on like the structure of the sentence and does this comma work and fixing like little lines of dialogue stuff that probably wouldn't matter in the end and you end up not doing much of anything and that's the situation I would often find myself in and then he suggested that instead of going from page one you 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 write down what your goals were for the movie what did you want to accomplish and then you figure out what scenes don't help that goal and then you fix those scenes instead of going from page one you knock out the scenes that need to be addressed yeah i think he compared it or someone did to um fixing a car you know you wouldn't just blindly start fixing the stereo when the problem was with whatever is underneath the engine. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can barely fix a tire, so yeah. You can fill in the blank. Basically, with everything else that you fix, you know why, why you're fixing it, what you're doing, what needs to be fixed. You have a process for it, and it should be the same way with screenwriting. You shouldn't just start at page one just because, you know, that's where you're supposed to start are not supposed to but you understand what I'm saying you get it don't act like you don't get it I know you do uh, what else did I want to talk about uh, I wanted to address the the negativity in the screenwriting community sometimes um, I saw a recent post on uh, reddit which is a, if you don't know it's a website where there's different subreddits communities and there's a screenwriting community on there and it has a it has a lot of helpful stuff on there if you haven't checked it out go do that now and um uh, and there I, there's a lot of posts on there that it's a lot of complaining and it comes across as bitterness sometimes they'll be like you know all all contests are scams and you know the judges don't know what they're doing 
and uh, it's pay to play, it's, you know, why even try, it's so hard to break in, and, you know, it's true, it's very hard to break in, it's, it's highly unlikely, but, you know, a lot of things in life are hard to do, that doesn't mean you uh, stop yourself from doing, you psych yourself out, and in, in any process, being negative or focusing on the negatives will not help you. It's not going to do anything for you at all. So you can you can sit there and complain about how hard it is to break in, and, or you can be like, well, I know it's hard, so I have to work even harder, and then when I actually do break in, think of how great it's going to feel. You know, don't, you got, you, I try it. I mean, it's a struggle for me sometimes. I'm not always the most positive person. Uh, but you have to try to remain positive even when things might be stacked against you because you can really get yourself down with that. You know, I, I, I think, you know, it might be a, a newer writer uh, thing. I mean, I struggled with it when I first started writing. I was like, I probably shouldn't try to pursue this seriously because, you know, it's so, so difficult to break into. But it's what I love to do. And, you know, if you really love it and you really enjoy it, there's no harm in trying. And, you know, it just doesn't help to be negative. So try to fight the urge uh, try to, and also no one wants to, no one wants to interact with someone who's negative all the time. That might sound harsh to say, but I, I, speaking from experience, I've been that negative person, and you don't, no one wants to hang around that. You don't want to be, oh, you know, the complainer, the Debbie Downer. No one wants, no one wants to be around that. So if you, if you, um, give off a positive energy, and if you have positive things to say, and if you, um, believe you're gonna make it, then maybe you will. I mean, I'm also not, you know, naive enough to be like, if you believe it, it's, you know, it's gonna happen for sure. You just have to see it in your mind. It's not going to happen for everyone, but, um, I think you'll get a lot closer and have better, a better chance if you, if you just be positive and you try your best to enjoy process also uh what is breaking in i mean you yeah a lot of us will probably never um have a wide release film on thousands of theaters across the country but uh if you truly love telling stories you can pick up a camera and shoot a film with your friends and you can uh or you can post on there's there's thousands millions probably, I don't know, of actors who are just itching at the chance to be in a short film, to have something on their reel. So you can find, you can find people who, you know, want to collaborate with you. And you don't have to, you know, you don't have to be a Hollywood success to, to achieve happiness in this creative world we live in. So be positive, create things, help each other, and yeah, that's it. Bye.